we're going to do a, I'm working on the, uh, the tree railing project that you probably haven't seen the video on yet, but um, there's a lot to it and when it comes out I hope it's going to be pretty spectacular. One of the things that I mentioned in that video is that in, attempt, in attempting to make tree branches, uh, I decided to use tubing or pipe to do that and this is just a, a demo piece of, of me trying to put the texture in and in that video I talk about the fact that the, the thing I like most is this roughness you know all the pits because the piece I started was extremely old rusty piece of steel so I'm trying to come up with a way or attempt to, to reproduce that pitting look so I took a piece now this piece is definitely rusty but I ground down the end so I mean there's very little texture on there and then what we're gonna call this is make a tool well it's make a tool need, need a tool make a tool but need a tool find a tool I started thinking about the Vikings or at least my understanding of them and they used to use stone anvils and I'm like well huh what if I were to take something and I just happen to find this piece of concrete that has a lot of texture and what if we go ahead and use that as a bottom part of the anvil would I be able to put enough texture in to, to satisfy me without that falling apart and all etc 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 so that's the crazy attempt we're gonna do need a tool find a tool yeah, I kind of like the idea. Let's see what happens. All right, so I got this piece heated up. I'm not sure what I want to use for a hammer. I don't mind deforming the pipe. I'm after texture in the pipe. This wooden hammer seems to be doing this trick. I can go back and round it later. I'm just trying out. So there's a lot of a lot of bites going in there. I put my two texture in. There. Maybe I can fill two burns with one stone. Here. It actually doesn't look too bad. There's lots of big gouges and things in there. So let me try this one more time and then I'll be back and we'll talk about it. All right, after working it through a few times and then tapering it down the way I expect so I'm just gonna come back here and clean up anything that I did wrong for the textures. Just gotta find me some good concrete blocks to play with. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Kind of happy the way it looks now. Yeah, a little bend in there. It's pretty natural to me. Just those little veins you put in there. I like it. All right, let me clean it up. We'll come back and take a look at it. All right, let me turn this off. So this was the original piece, and if you remember the. All this rust, rusted out texture is what I was really after. And by using that, that concrete out there, I mean, I think it did a great job. I mean, it's just, it looks really, really good. My long, my long lines are in there. And again, I had ground this down, so there wasn't a whole lot of rust texture there. So this is an example of raw steel. I was able to, to contour, shape, um, put, where am I? put a little curve into it, and uh, narrow it down for the next size tubing and all that kind of stuff. So very, very pleased. So we'll call us a quick one, and I think I'm going to go out and find myself, I don't know, a piece of granite maybe that's been split open so for a little finer texture, a couple more pieces of concrete, because I got like uh, 60, 100, 200, I don't know, like 100 and some odd feet probably a pipe to, to do that to. But definitely worked out real well. Need a tool? Make one. Or better yet, go find one. Sitting in your backyard under a pile of grass, some old concrete. Texturing tool. Ciao.